guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be talking about the top 10 items that are essential to any work wardrobe these are items that i wear every single week and that i know i can count on whenever i'm not sure what it is that i want to wear that morning these 10 items could be your entire work wardrobe so that's how versatile and easy these pieces are you can you know incorporate them into a current wardrobe you can rely on these 10 pieces alone to be your actual work wardrobe all right so let's jump right into this video so the first item that I have here is a pair of plain black pants. And I think these are pretty classic and uh, most people I think would agree that a pair of black pants should be in any um, work wardrobe. They're easy to wear, they go with everything and they look extremely professional. Definitely the number one must have in my wardrobe for work. And the pair that I have here crops just above the ankle which is really important for me because I think pants that crop right above the ankle just look a lot more flattering on any body type. So when you're picking out a pair of black pants I would recommend going for one that's a little bit fitted and one that crops just above the ankle and the great thing about a pair of black pants is that they can easily transition from work to casual All right, so, so the next item I have here is a rust colored blazer and again I don't think I'm alone when I say that a great blazer is essential for any work wardrobe but I specifically chose one in this color because as you'll see a lot of my closet staples for work are in more neutral colors so um, ivory or black and I think that a nice colored blazer really helps to add some interest to your work outfits and the reason why I I love this color is because it's in the color family that I love so those pinks roses reds but it's not so colorful that it's hard to pair with outfits or it's too loud for work I would say that rusts and rose are a little bit more neutral than pinks or reds and they're a lot easier to wear and to match with other colors so it's muted enough but still gives a hint of color so. all right so the next item that I have here is a ivory cashmere sweater and cashmere sweaters are such a closet staple for me in the winter I wear cashmere sweaters three to four days out of the week so a lot cashmere sweaters are so great to just wear on their own with a pair of pants or a skirt or they also look really good under blazers as well so in the winter I might occasionally layer a blazer over this just to um, add some warmth at the office I would choose an ivory one as a work wardrobe essential because ivory goes with so many things and it just looks so um, clean and classic. I absolutely love ivory pieces for my wardrobe, but I know that it can be sometimes daunting because white things tend to get dirty easier. But because cashmere has to be dry cleaned anyways, I don't mind opting for a lighter color for my cashmere sweaters because, um, you know, if it gets dirty or if there's a stain um, the dry I have to take it to the dry clearance anyways so they can specially you know treat it if there is any sort of real um, discoloration or staining but luckily I haven't really had that happen to me um, so yeah I absolutely love a white cashmere sweater for work alright so my next wardrobe essential for work is a pleated skirt and I think pleated skirts are so underrated a lot of people I think would choose a pencil skirt for work but I absolutely love love pleated skirts um, and I definitely would choose a pleated skirt over a pencil skirt for work so the one that I have here is um, it hits you can see it kind of flares out at the bottom um, and it's in a nice almost like crepey material this one hits just below the knees which is the length that I would recommend for any work skirt I think that um, with a skirt that hits just below the knees it looks very professional and classy but it doesn't look um, too stuffy so I absolutely love this pleated skirt I think they look so much more feminine than um, pencil skirts do but they still also look very professional at the same time so I absolutely love wearing the skirt with just a simple silk blouse or um, with a sweater you can easily pop a blazer over the top and it looks really feminine but still very professional at the same time so I absolutely love a classic pleated skirt for work okay so my next closet essential for work is a um, white top with a black bow I have been trying to look for a blouse like this for a very long time and unfortunately I haven't had any success yet in finding the perfect um, silk blouse with a black tie. So for now I have a t-shirt and this t-shirt I think works really really well um, and it has the same effect as like a silk blouse. So 
I'm pretty happy with it for now, but I still am on that search for the perfect ivory blouse with a black bow. And the reason why I'm specifically choosing an ivory blouse with a black bow is because it's so classic and it just absolutely goes with anything. The one sort of work outfit hack that I have is that um, if you can find like a really nice t-shirt, t-shirts work just as well as blouses do and they're much more comfortable so if you can find some you know pretty professional looking t-shirts they're a great alternative to blouses the reason why i'm specifically choosing a white top with a black bow is because it's so classic and it just goes with everything and it looks so feminine but professional at the same time i reach for the shirt over and over again i don't know how many times i've worn it i can't even say but it's held up really well and it just looks great on its own or under a blazer um, with skirts with pants it can be dressed up or down so i absolutely love this all right guys so the next item that i have here is a black dress dress this one is a black cotton maxi dress um and i've talked about this dress before in my uh top items from everlane video which i'll link here above if you haven't seen it before but um i think a black dress is so essential for work favorite ways to wear a black dress to work are with a belt and a blazer or with a sweater over the top of the dress and i just think that black maxi dresses are a great option for work because they look pretty professional the length is pretty long and they're quite comfortable so they're not super tight you don't have to worry about looking um, inappropriate at the office it's just a really great option it's just a great option if you're looking for something easy comfortable super quick that you don't have to think about in the mornings and the next item that I have here is a silk blouse in a nude tannish kind of color. Silk blouses are so essential for work really easy to wear really comfortable and I just love the way that they drape so I love wearing silk blouses under a blazer um, just on its own. They look really great with pants and the sleeves rolled up. They also look really great tucked into skirts. So I think this is definitely um, one of those closet staples that you'll wear over and over again, whether it's for work or for the weekend. Um, but just for work, you really can't go wrong with um, a classic silk blouse. The one thing that I do think is a little bit annoying about silk blouses is that um, you may need to iron them before you wear them. So as you can see here, mine's pretty wrinkled right now. Um, it's going to definitely need a good iron before I wear it again. But wrinkles aside, I think silk blouses are still such a closet staple uh, for work. This one's definitely included in my top 10 essentials for a work wardrobe. All right, guys, so the next item that I'm going to talk about is actually the shirt that I'm wearing, and it's just a um, long sleeve v-neck black shirt. And this one isn't made of anything special. It's just 100% cotton, and I think 100% cotton black shirt shirts are so great for having your closet whether for work or for casual but particularly for work and the reason why is because they are so comfortable I have to wear cotton shirts under my cashmere sweaters or under blazers and I love to wear them under sweaters because it helps to prolong the wear of your sweaters in between dry cleans and under blazers they also look really great so if there's one day where you get up and you don't really feel like putting on a silk blouse or you know something super professional or formal you can just throw on a cotton shirt put a blazer on put some black pants on and you're ready to go out the door so I absolutely love a simple cotton black shirt as part of my work wardrobe it's just one of those pieces that I know that I can rely on and that I really don't need to think about throw on if I you know woke up late or if I don't really feel like putting together a super elaborate outfit for the day so definitely recommend a good cotton shirt okay, so the last two items that i have here are accessories so the first pair is a pair of um low chunky block heel leopard heels the first thing that i would say is that i would include a pair of low chunky block heels um, in any color or pattern as an essential in a work wardrobe leopard is such a great way to add some fun and some print into your outfit without looking um, too bold or too over the top and also leopard print is pretty neutral so it goes really well with a lot of different um, colors and outfits and especially if you have a work wardrobe that's more on the neutral side so if you're wearing a lot of blacks ivories grays um, nudes tans 
leopard print really complements those colors really really well and it's just a great way to add a little bit more um, style and fashion to your outfit without trying too hard so I absolutely love these heels and the reason why I love the low chunky block heel because they're really really comfortable but they still give you a little bit of height that you might be looking for all right guys and the very last item that I have here is a tote bag so as part of um, my top 10 work wardrobe essentials I would definitely recommend having a good tote bag the safest thing to do is obviously to go for something in a more neutral color like black or nude um, or gray but I went for a bright red tote I like to wear like blacks nudes and ivories to work so I think that having a red tote is a great way to incorporate some color into um, your outfit for work why I specifically love a tote for work is because it's just really big it holds everything you need um, and you don't have to feel like you're restricted in how much stuff you bring so you know I can fit my laptop in here I can fit my lunch I can fit it, um, you know my keys cell phone a notepad um, a book some makeup so really I can fit a ton of stuff in here and if you good if you and if you get a good tote it's not going to feel really heavy so um, my tote here is from Louis Vuitton it is the Neverfull, and it's just wonderful I've had this for about three years and it really hasn't shown much signs of wear if you don't want to spend a ton on a designer bag there are a lot of really great less expensive alternatives out there so Everlane makes some really great totes Kuyana makes really great totes I'll have all of this linked in the description box below so definitely check that out if you're interested I would definitely recommend a great tote bag for work they're just absolutely awesome they never go out of style they carry everything you need and they still look very professional at the same time okay, so that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it I hope this video helps give you some ideas on how you can build a better closet for work if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe I do post videos weekly about fashion and life so if you don't want to miss out make sure to subscribe I will also link my blog and my Instagram below I post my daily outfits on Instagram so if you want to know what I wear on a day-to-day -day basis definitely go and check out my Instagram if there's any videos that you'd like to see, if there are any types of videos that you'd like to see, make sure to leave me a comment in the comment box below and let me know what it is you think that I should make a video about next. All right, guys, thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.